How's it going, everyone? Andy Sean 45 coming at you. This week, the Irish play host to the Bowling Green Falcons out of the MAC Conference. Now, the only real significant thing about this matchup, Brian Van Gorder makes his return to South Bend. Oh, yes. Us Irish fans know that name very well. Brian Van Gorder was our defensive coordinator from 2014 to about three or four games into the 2016 season before he was given the boot, and rightfully so. He was terrible. I'm not saying Brian Van Gorder's a bad person, he's just a bad coach, and the numbers don't lie. Uh, very piss-poor job that he did with us. Had some good moments, but overall it was bad. He is now the defensive coordinator for Bowling Green, and, well... Things aren't that much different. I know Bowling Green is technically in the middle of a rebuild process, but if uh, you look at their schedule, they pushed around Morgan State, no problem, but all three games since then, they've been getting pushed around by everybody else. And to sum it up, it shows that Brian Van Gorder is their defensive coordinator. When you look at their three losses... I think the average margin of victory by their opponents has been like 30 or 40 points. It's been bad. Um, so, yeah, it's a very, uh, not a very good football team. Um, this is a game that I see the Irish winning no problem. But let's just talk a little bit about Bowling Green, even though there's not much to say. Um, hands down, their best player is starting quarterback uh, Darius Wade. Um, dual threat quarterback, which we've had some issues with, uh, dual threat quarterbacks early on in the season, but, uh, Darius Wade, looking at the numbers, it's been a very lackluster season for him. Only three touchdowns, but three and three interceptions. Um, and I don't think he's even, if I read correctly, I don't even think he's surpassed uh, 600 yards passing it. If so, it's just over that. So not a very good season for him to this point. But um, I, really, guys, this is a simple breakdown. The Irish overpower bowl, Bowling Green. Um, they may bring a little bit of a pass rush from their defensive line, but we should be able to uh, stand up to that challenge, no problem whatsoever. Now, I'm not saying that we should ever underestimate an opponent. I mean, Bowling Green, they could wake up. But I really don't see that happening. I mean, with the, with the way that they've been getting pushed around with all the, the quote, big boys on their schedule, and when I say big boys, I mean teams that aren't FCS, uh, they've just been, oh, it's been terrible. They've been getting their asses kicked. Just, And that's an understatement. Um, they've been dominated by pretty much everyone they've played to this point. Um, so... Uh, you know, Kansas State, I think, put up 62 points on them, or 52 or 62. Um, uh, but we're a much better team than Kansas State is, despite all the problems that we've had. Um, I see a, I see this game being very similar to that. Um, so uh, I think what's going to happen this week is we're going to have a field day. Uh, Ian Book is going to be able to work out a lot of the problems that he's had. Our offensive line is are going to fix the mistakes that they've made. Um, same with our uh, with our uh, running game. I think we finally, which Tony Jones got uh, off to a great start last week, but I think we really might finally get a chance to see some significant reps from the younger guys like Sebo Flemister, uh, Kieran Williams, and so on. Uh, Jameer Smith, uh, he should be back for this one as well. Um, look for him to get a lot of significant carries as well. Basically, expect to see a lot of backups play in this one. Uh, and honestly, I like to see this game over at halftime. Um, so it should give uh, Phil Dracovic a chance to see the field, uh, get some get some quality reps. Um, and yeah, just really, uh, really get a chance to work out any kinks that might still be in our system. So, with that said, everyone, uh, prediction time. Now, I'm going to go bold with my prediction here. And notice the key word there is bold. So, if I turn out to be wrong, that's the key word that you need to focus on right now. I honestly see this game playing out just like New Mexico. Um, I think 50 points is a minimum in this one, but I'm going to take it up a notch. I think we put up 60 again. So, my final score prediction in this one... The Irish 62, Bowling Green 14.
Um, and I think, I think a lot of those points or those, those 14 points are going to come in garbage time. So 62, 14, that's probably the biggest, boldest, uh, prediction I've made. And if I'm wrong again, go back to the word bold. So that's all I have for you guys. It's not much. Just this game was a pretty simple breakdown. I mean, we just have to do our thing and we really should have no problem with this one. So on that note, everyone, this is Andy Sean 45 signing off. God bless and go Irish beat Falcons.